Morning, Sunday morning, again, uh, episode number two, I'm Baz, well the Faber, and today we're going to be doing uh, a little DX140 boom repair, so this is a Deucen DX140 split, as you can see, I did think it split on the well, but I think it's actually ripped through the plate, there. it might be the well, we'll tell you when we get it off, but um, I'm going to start by cutting this top section out do a rough cut get it out of the way take a look inside see what's going on but all this will be coming off we'll take it off down here as well we'll put it down here put it back here but this side here this opposite side I might leave that on and bend this whole thing back Bend it back before we plate it up. Um, but I am going to make it stronger. I will be putting a, another plate with inside the boom going to the centre and it'll all be fully welded on the inside where there'll be no weld on the inside of that now or there might just be a weld on one part of it. Um, but I don't know that till we get it open. a little backing plate there can you see that's your backing plate there'll be another one at the other side just behind this weld here so we'll get a plasma on it we'll cut this out get a rough cut and then we'll take another look so if you've got any questions about this job please leave it in the comments so I was going to cut it off here but it's still buckled this plate so Obviously then that plate's stretched, so we'll come on from this line up here. So as you can see it's like tapered at the bottom of this boom. So we get the square edge from here and we'll work the way down. Alright, cut that with plasma now.
Right, so now we've got that top plate cut out. We've took the backing strip off this side. I'm going to cut this back here to about there. Uh, we'll double skin this section here. Um, the bottom, this side, I'm going to cut it on an angle like that. I don't, I don't want all the welds in the same position when it's going back together, yeah? So this side here, this backing plate here, I mean, look at snotters on that from factory. Um, so I'm tempted to cut this sort out, put a new piece in here, or I might just weld, clean all this up and weld on the inside of this. But to get this back straight now, 70 mil pin size, I'm going to put a 70 mil rod in that in the center pin. Yeah, I'm going to put a 70 mil rod in the center. I'll put one in here. So two bars, twist it back, and then I can get it square and level. Uh, yeah, so I think we'll do that next, Cal. Yeah. Right, so now we've got a backing plate on there. We've got the centre line on. We've got a plate cut for here. Yeah, we've got the two bars in. And if you take a step back and see how far out it is with them bars now, out of level that plummet is. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell by the camera shot, but. So what we're gonna do now, if you look down here, see how it's got a little twist at the top. But there's no twist at the bottom, yeah? So we'll apply a little bit of heat here. But first, we're going to tack a plate on. So we'll cut a square plate here for this size. From up here, and then we'll trim it afterwards, yeah? But we'll pull it all back square now. With a little bit of heat, and we can measure off these bars to get it bang on. Right, Carl, fire it gas up. Thirty mil, twenty mil. Right, so we need to send this over that way. Five mil. So if we get a piece of box or a piece of channel across here, clamp it there like that. That'll pull it across, yeah. Got what we got? Piece of that. Yeah, that, that'll do. Yeah. yeah. All right. Clamp it up. Clamp it there, yeah. 
Oh, it's gone, that's gone. Oh. 25. Twenty-five. Right, we'll clamp it up now. Yeah, you put weight on it, Cal. Right, I'll take a couple of measurements now. See where we're at. Not be far off there though. Right, so now we've twisted it back. Yeah, so we've got it level that way with that pin, but it's not right that way. So there's about 50 mil difference, yeah? Here we're on 50. So there's about 50 mil, about 50 mil difference that way. So, we put a little chain block on that side, pull it back 25 mil. Um, it'll bring this square then, bring this end square. All right, so we're at 2190 to outside. Yeah, let's take it out of the side. Bars are nice and level. 2190. Well, that's it, go. Two one nine two. That's near enough for me. Just uh, put right, put your camera down that Ben. You see how plumb it is. How plumb them pins are now. Yeah. Right, yeah. let's stack it up. I'm just getting arm in.
Right, so we're getting there now, yeah. Um, I put a backing plate on this one, bigger. I left an eight milli gap at each side of that plate at that side. We're gonna fully weld all the inside of this now, whereas there was no weld on it before. This backing plate here, I'll weld this. We'll weld under here. We'll fully weld everything and put a stiffener. I'm thinking about putting a stiffener down the centre here. Over that. I don't know, say, under a mil stiffener or something. And maybe even one that way, yeah. Just to give it that little bit more. And as you can see, I've put it on an angle here. This angle here. So, every weld is different, but I would never have all the welds in line, if you know what I'm saying. So I've got that one there, we've got one up here, one there, we've got one here. In different positions, yeah. So I'm going to weld it all in the flat position. And I'm going to turn it each time. You know, a lot of welders will weld vertical, but I always like to weld in flat position. I say it's a lot stronger. Right, let's crack on welding.
we've got a grease pipe holders back on now. We'll just flip it now and put the underside on. Well, the long here and then along here, and then we'll flip it back to weld here. You ready? Right, so as I've been welding this, I've decided not to put a stifter down here now. And I don't think it needs it with all this weld that we've got inside. Uh, got the plate cutter, you ready? It's on the bottom. So I think that'll be enough to be fair. You need to have a little bit of flex in these booms. You don't want to stiffen it up too much, you know what I mean? It'll just end up cracking further down. I'll tell you if that plate fits, Cal. We've got a backing strip for it, yeah. Um, maybe about an eight milli gap. Fill it up. Right, so that's episode two boxed off. Not often that I get a full day in the workshop. Uh, it's three o'clock now, so that's just took nine hours to repair. Um, normally I'm here, there and everywhere through the day, so uh, it was nice to get a full day in the workshop today. But I will do an episode where uh, you come out on the road with me so you see what uh, real life's like for Welder Fabia. yeah? So it's Sunday now, 3 p.m. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. My phone will not stop all day. So I'll take you out on the road with me. So cheers for watching, like and subscribe. See you soon.